Reaction pouring in after Governor Abbott moves to eliminate COVID related restrictions. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Christine Galvan. Oscar is off tonight. Virus related hospitalizations in the Valley are down, but up until last week, they were so high our restaurant and business owners had to operate under stricter emergency rules than the rest of the state. Capacity limits were tighter. Fewer customers allowed inside facilities and dining rooms. So in a span of two weeks, we are going from strict to relaxed to no capacity limits, plus no statewide mask mandate. It all starts a week from tomorrow, and we are already hearing from Valley school districts and local retailers. Those details ahead, but first, our coverage begins with Channel 5's Monica De Anda. Good evening. More than 2 million COVID-19 infections and 40,000 deaths have been reported here in Texas since the start of the pandemic. And nearly a year after the first positive case in the state, today, Governor Abbott saying it's time to open back up. It is now time to open Texas 100%. I am ending the statewide mask mandate. Yeah. Oh my gut response was, oh no, here we go again. Uh, we know what happened the last time that we abandoned uh, precautions. Texas Governor Greg Abbott announced he's putting an end to the state's mandatory mask mandate and allowing businesses to operate at 100%. The executive order goes into effect next Wednesday, March 10th, but it's already prompting concern from medical professionals. It's been one week since we dropped from that 15% people in the hospital COVID being positive. One week, I'm very afraid that our numbers could once again escalate. Hidalgo County Health Authority Dr. Ivan Melendez says when Governor Abbott loosened restrictions last May, Hidalgo County went from 13 deaths in five weeks to 50 people dying daily just one month later. But today, Abbott pointed to the state's positivity rate, now under 9%, saying it's the lowest it's been in four months. It is clear from the recoveries, from the vaccinations, from the reduced hospitalizations, and from the safe practices that Texans are using that state mandates are no longer needed. It's insanity. It is the most reckless thing that any public professional could do under the circumstances. I mean, only 6.9% of the population in the state of Texas has been uh, vaccinated. The governor also said the abundance of PPE, COVID testing supplies, and COVID treatments, all things that were not readily available a year ago, went into his decision. But Texas Democratic Chair Gilberto Hinojosa is concerned today's announcement could trigger another spike, especially here in the Valley with spring break looming. You're going to have thousands of kids going to the island here in, here in Cameron County, and, and, and they're going to go to the bars shoulder to shoulder without masks because the governor said you don't have to wear them anymore. Not wearing masks, opening up 100% would be the last step that you take, not the first. I think it's way too much, way too soon. And we're so close to getting to that finish line. Governor Abbott also saying that we're administering about 1 million vaccines across the state every week. And he says within the next few months, any Texan who wants a vaccine should be able to get one. Reporting in McAllen, Monica De Anda, Channel 5 News at 10.